In this video, we're going to look at how to find the vertex of a parabola. Let's say that we want to find the vertex of f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 6. First, we need to graph the equation. Press the y equals button and enter in the right side of this equation. So x squared minus 3x plus 6. Then we're going to hit graph. Note that the vertex is at the bottom of this parabola. So we're going to press now second calc or second trace to bring up the calc function. And since the parabola is at the bottom, we're going to select minimum or option 3. The graphing calculator is now going to ask us for our left bound. To do this, we want to make sure that the cursor is somewhere to the immediate left of the vertex. And as you can see, the cursor is sort of to the left of the vertex, so we're just going to press enter. And you will see a triangle here to indicate that that's the left bound. Now the graphing calculator is going to ask for the right bound. So we want to move the cursor somewhere just to the immediate right of the vertex. There's the vertex right there. And here's a point to the right of it. And we'll press Enter again. Now the graphing calculator will ask you to guess where the vertex is. So we want to move the cursor as close as we can to the actual vertex. So that looks pretty close. I'm going to press Enter. And you can see the vertex here. Now, sometimes the calculator is going to give a number that's a little bit off. Like, for example, here it says 1.4999998. You have to know that the vertex is actually going to be 1.5 there. From looking at what we have, we found out that the vertex is 1.5 and 3.75, or if we put that into improper fraction, it's going to be 3 halves and 15 fourths. Note that sometimes parabolas are going to be upside down, and the vertex is going to occur at a maximum. You can see that I've already gone ahead and graphed this parabola, and in this case, you can see that the vertex is at the top. When we go to second calc, or second trace, this time we're going to choose option 4, maximum, not option 3, minimum like we did before. And we're going to go ahead and select our left bound, press enter, select our right bound, press enter, then we're going to hit guess, and as you can see here the x value of our vertex is going to be 1, and our y value is going to be negative 1.5. So when you put that into fraction form, the coordinates will be 1, comma, negative 3 halves. On your own, find the vertex of f of x equals negative 2x squared minus 2x minus 2. The answer is negative 1 half and negative 3 halves.